most people are aware of climate change now. And I think most people, there were a handful of people early on, or people said, no, I don't believe in it, and I think the facts are distorted. And I think most of those voices have been quiet now. You know, I think we're all trying to do something, but it does seem somehow like may, maybe the answer isn't with the individual, or, or is it individuals? What do you think the answer is? The reason I asked to come on your show is that you have a lot of viewers and I think we can only be saved by public opinion. And I think the scientists are giving us all the science, all the information, but it's not getting through to people. And I think it's not getting through because politicians are treating it like it's one thing on a list of things to do. And actually, it's the first problem and the last problem. And everything in between, the financial crisis, whatever, are all symptoms of this problem. And we are facing something. I mean, human race, you can say, okay, it's a little blip on the story of evolution. We're not going to last forever. The suffering is not acceptable. We can't have that. Well, when people, yeah. No, anyway. Listen, Jonathan, I've got to say one thing on this programme, and if, I can, if, you, if you don't edit it, and if I can say that, it'll be my reason for coming on. And this is what I really want to say, and it involves some figures, and it'll take a couple of minutes. Well, let's get a move on then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now then, so what we're talking about is how, many, how much greenhouse gas there is in the air. Now then, up until the Industrial Revolution, it was between 180 and 300 parts per million. And this was the case for 65,000 years. Since then, it's been going up and it's nearly 400 parts per million. And 400 parts per million is this famous two degrees of heat that we keep hearing about. And the thing is that um, if it goes beyond that, it is happening all the time, but if it goes beyond that, you get this chain reaction which gets so fast and so powerful, one thing affects another, but then everything affects everything else, and it accelerates and accelerates, so you've got runaway global warming, and you can't stop it. And by the time it gets to three degrees, but even probably before, you say goodbye to the rainforest. You say goodbye to it. Now, the, no money could buy the worth that that gives us. We the public need that. to know all mm. this. So, essentially, we need to so act that's, soon. That's the kind of, yeah, I mean, if you're going to reverse it, the speed with which you do it is the most important thing. What you do today is better than what you but do we tomorrow. Need some, we need uh, some leaders. We need some people to step forward who tell us what to do because I think we're all mm. kind of on the same page with this. We need government policy and we need these, these issues really, really talked about. I mean, where do you stand on, on our current uh, politicians, our leaders? I know you're a big fan of Prince Charles, aren't you? Yeah. Which some people would find surprising. They would think that was surprising that you were... Well, he's not elected, is he? No, that's true. Um, but he's doing more than any politician I've ever heard of in my lifetime. And he's got a, uh, he's got a structure in place to save the rainforest. Yeah, he has a website you can visit called uh, www www.rainforestsos.org uh, and that's, uh, he's uh, trying to gather names, isn't he, so that people will That's one thing that somebody can do. You can sign up to that. It's something you can do. You've got to get involved. It's uh, clearly something you're very passionate about right now. It's clearly something, uh, it's obviously something which the is... The human race, yeah. I mean, is it going to survive? I mean, yeah, that's, mm. we should get passionate about that. <laughs> Just before you go, can I just ask you a bit about, about you? A bit more about you? Because I'm, I, you know, I am very much enamoured of you and your work and your contribution to, to British life over the last uh, 30 years or so. But, uh, but I love, um, I'd love to know a bit more about you. Just briefly, you're married to Andreas, is that right? Mm. And he, is, he designs with you, he de co designs with you. Um, who does the cooking at home? Who does the cleaning? Who does the shopping? Who does the vacuum? What's home life like for you? Well, I don't want to make anybody jealous, but I've never used my washing machine or my hoover since I've been with him. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got him... No, no. He's, he wants to clean. He likes it. He can't stand dust and stuff. He's really brilliant. <laughs> and what do you do? What do you do in relation? Do you do the cooking? Are you a good cook? Or you like... I, I cook, and I think cooking's to do with shopping. I, and I usually cook something different all the time, depending on what I think looks nice in the shop. And yeah. you don't watch TV, we've established that. Mm. Okay. Uh, mm. He some... does, yeah. Ah, so yeah, he likes yeah, to play yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you do, how do you feel your time in terms of your entertainment? What, what entertains you, what keeps you amused and diverted? 
Well, um, the fashion business, it's very, very time consuming. I'm trying to do less of that and I wish he would do more and more and more and more because he's incredibly talented. Yeah. Um, and um, I read whenever I get the chance and I go to art galleries. When I travel, I, I always, I think it's mad to just go somewhere for a business reason or for looking at some fitting of some clothes or something and then come back. If I travel, I take an opportunity and I'll go to see an art gallery in Berlin or in Italy, in the Uffizi or whatever. Or I, I just really, and I try to take advantage of living in this amazing city. It's probably the most cosmopolitan and the most cultured of any in the world. And if you're in the country, then you have to learn the names of all the flowers. I know them all because I was born in the country. Yeah, yeah. And understand the world you live in. But you need to go deep because if you don't have depth, you don't understand the world you live in. And our age, if we tackle this global warming, I'll leave that alone, but it could be such fun, it could be so brilliant. We could start to do things that get a life instead of being a cipher in the consumer world, you know. You get out what you put in. I believe that going to an art gallery, you put something in and you get something out and you're no, you're no longer satisfied. You're not interested in all these other things. And my duty is to understand the world I live in. I'm not religious and I just believe that you have to understand the world you live in because understanding it, then you help the world. I don't know. It's, it's all you can do. What can I do? This gift of life, let me understand the world I live in. That's how I see it. Well, I think that's uh, words to sort of grow by. I love you before you come on the show. I love you even more now, of course, Viv. Um, it's so lovely to have you here. You're welcome to come back on any time, no matter what you want to bang on about. Okay. You're welcome <laughs> back here. Um, but you. I don't mean to diminish what you say, because it's absolutely, no doubt, it's uh, the biggest, I think probably the biggest challenge facing us all. So let's hope that we do wake up to it. Yeah, and Prince Charles's website, that's jolly good. He, <laughs> needs, he just needs you to say, I, I want to help. And that's all he needs, and he'll, he, he can... He can get a lot done with that. Well, James, you're going to sign up for the Rainforest uh, SOS after the show? We'll see. What do you mean, we'll see? <laughs> well, you not it yet. Then what's wrong with you? I haven't read it. Sign up anyway. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vivian Westwood. <laughs> well, I'm just back again. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sorry, and thank you. No, thank Thanks for the help. Well, it's my okay. pleasure. Okay. Fantastic, isn't he? What a remarkable woman.